to a very surprising day 101 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Um, I'm here today in the wonderful town or city of Glastonbury. Behind me you can see the Glastonbury uh, Abbey and if I spin it around a little bit you will see all the grounds of Glastonbury. And that plot, plot of land you see there, you know, the dog's barking in the distance, but that plot of land that you see there is if you look at the well centre and you see the things that I talk about in terms of Llantwit Major being the first seat of Christian learning, that place there is the first Christian settlement, which was in 39 AD, which is the photograph that I showed you when I was asking about the lady about the roundhouses. And she said, and I designed the roundhouse, and she said, oh my God, let me show you where this is. And that plot of land there is exactly where the first seat of or the, actually the first Christian settlement was and this is the Abbey and this is me hi hope you're well um it's really nice to see you day 101 of the mindfulness challenge who would have thought it we thought there was only 100 days of the mindfulness challenge well here we are and the reason why I wanted to come on today was that we should always do things that inspire us and you know <laughs> drive ourselves to be inspired by those people who inspire us. Glastonbury is a very special place in my heart and if you'd have seen uh, the book that I wrote From a Burden to a Blessing, chapter 18, talks about Glastonbury and it talks about um, a lady, a rune lady, her name's Tegan, I never mentioned her name before but I'm going to mention it now. And today I went to the shop and unfortunately she's not there at the moment because of Covid but I signed a book and gave it to her and said please read chapter 19 because it's such a such an important chapter in my life and how much she's inspired me to do the things that spirit wanted me to do and and today I went there and delivered a book and it's no surprise to me when I spoke to the gentleman and said oh is Tegan here today and he said no she's she's uh, obviously working with Covid and I said well she's not here and she's a carer now this lady doesn't know me from Adam and um, I go and see her and she um, really helped me with the runestones, showed me my pathway which can give me confirmation and affirmation of the things that I've been shown from spirit and she's a carer. No reason why that's a surprise because she's an empath and she's somebody who's really connected to the world and helping the world and making this world a very special place. So I signed one of my books and I left it behind the counter with a gentleman. He said, can I take your name, please? And I said, yeah, Julian. And he looked at the book and he looked at me and he sort of put two and two together and, and I walked out. And if you think about it as well, I was thinking this driving over, the catch and release song that I play. There's a place I go to where nobody knows me. Yeah? And this is it. Glastonbury, nobody knows me. There's a place I go to where nobody knows me. It's, it's, was it? it's not easy. It's a necessary thing. Yeah, I'm not lonely, you know, and this is the place. This is Glastonbury, and it's such a special place for me. So day 101 of the Mindfulness Challenge, this is the last day, um, and it is a bit of a surprise, and I've got some other footage that I'm going to cut into this and put up on YouTube, but I thought I would make the trip across the water, um, and I'm working, so I'm allowed to do it, so I'm socially distancing, you know, there's nobody within a good way of me. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. So there's also the tomb of King Arthur here. Um, I don't know if you can see just up in the hill there. If I can get it. Can I get it? 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 Have a look. Is it there? Yeah. I'm, I'm doing this live, guys, right? So... So please bear with me. You can see the Glastonbury Tor, the little building on the top of the hill. And that, okay, that Glastonbury Tor As you can see this is very much on the hoff. The Glastonbury Tor, I can see it from my house. And that, I would have never thought that. I went in my backyard and I can see that, which is 33 miles away from my house. 
So all of these things keep linking together and they just inspire me to, to follow the spiritual string. Keep going, keep believing, keep doing the things that, that, that you have passion for. And, you know, I've been greatly inspired by this place and I've been greatly inspired every day from the comments and the emails and everything that I get so saying thank you very much you know it's really great and everything else so here's my question to you we have the great unique ability to inspire others through you know doing things to inspire people and I'd like you to if you can I'm gonna pop a video up a little bit later on in the uh, YouTube channel or you can put on here and just inspire people to why mindfulness and the 100 day challenge has inspired you and is how it's helped you through this period of time and what it's done for you. And it's not about me, please don't, it's not never about me. But what I wanted to do is I want day 101 to be a, a, a testimonials, a statement, an epitaph of how it's helped you through your life. So if people are just sort of thinking, well, will it work for me, won't it work for me? They can see the experiences of real people and actually use that inspiration and, and, and power to truly change their lives and change their lives through spirituality and spiritualism. So if you've been doing the Mindfulness Challenge and if you've been doing that on YouTube or whatever and you're watching this video now on the Udemy group and I'll put this video up a little bit later on on YouTube when I get back to Wales, about two hours away today, is just say why you've been inspired and, and how mindfulness in this challenge has helped you. Because by doing so, you could just plant that seed that makes somebody or has somebody or inspires somebody to start from day one. And that's what I'm looking for, is if we can all reach out and help others to help themselves live a happy, balanced spiritual life with clarity and purpose and be part of this wonderful surroundings of Glastonbury Abbey. What a beautiful space. So, this has inspired me. I hope it inspires you. I have to kick on now, guys, because I have to go home. The sun is shining. It's sort of summer here. But before I go on day 101 of the Mindfulness Challenge, thank you all very much. Thank you all so for your support, for your love, for your kindness, for your inspiration, for your energy, for everything that you do to inspire me to get up every morning and dust myself off sometimes and go again. Because that's what it's all about. Let's play the long game. I said yesterday when I was up the woods with my mate, it's like as if spirit have got me to this phase and I'm waiting for the next download. I'm waiting for the next, like, you know, what's happening now and I've come here today yeah sunglasses day Melissa I've come here today to to see to feel inspired to feel the energy again to ding ding round two so I don't know where I'm gonna go from here well, I do actually I'm gonna get a car and go home but on a bigger picture than that I don't know where I'm gonna go from here I know I've got the forest and I know I've got to start building that out and that's gonna change now due to COVID but I'm not worried because I can bathe in that sea of uncertainty knowing that spirit got my back and I've got theirs as well and I've got yours because I know you got mine and that's important so thank you very much for all your love your support your kindness your messages but I want to ask a favor from you now and that is put in the comment section below or put on the YouTube channel when I pop it up things that have inspired you to do the things that you do and that comment that remark may inspire somebody else and it's all about today Sunday day 101 of the mindfulness challenge is a surprise because you didn't probably expect it or maybe the psychic ones probably did or the ones with clairvoyance probably did but it's all about inspiration and this place inspired me you inspire me and I hope I can inspire you to make those changes to your life that can have you that happy balanced spiritual life be love and give love have a lovely Sunday it's it's an absolute pleasure to be with you guys, working with you guys and spending time with you guys. So thank you very much for all that you do.